Salesforce has now reached the point of having specific cloud offerings for almost any industry you can think of. I'm on salesforce.com slash solutions slash industries. If you just go to Salesforce and then hover over products and then select see all industries, that will take you to the same page. And it's here that there's a list of the different cloud specific industry models that they have. And the first of which is financial services. I want to talk about the financial services cloud and you can apply the same concepts in navigating details around these other industry specific clouds such as healthcare, communications, consumer goods, etc. Another thing to know is you'll find higher education and nonprofit here as well. For now, let's just look at financial services and the way that this typically works is you'll find details on the overview page with some of the high level details of whatever industry cloud you're looking at and more background and links and research articles, reports, etc. But then some of these links down here on the left beyond the overview is that you have a link for financial services cloud and then information specific to banking where you can watch a demo, get other details around customer relationships, elevating omnichannel experiences and other banking related things, testimonials as well and previous webinars related to banking in this example. But then beyond banking, you have options for insurance as well that would fall under the financial services cloud umbrella. You'd have a demo there as well. And then as well, insurance specific things, data sheets and stories. Then other things related to financial services would be wealth and asset management. So for those of you that are in the wealth and asset management space might be interested in this particular section of the financial services cloud. And not to be left out, mortgage and lending also would fall under financial services cloud. Salesforce has solutions related to mortgage. So you can find stories related to mortgages, and lending as well, webinars, white papers, blogs. After you're out of these different subsets of the larger cloud offerings, such as for financial services, banking, insurance, etc., once you get out of those sub cloud units, you've got customer stories, pricing resources, and an FAQ. But this gives you an example of different customer stories in your own industry or vertical to be able to see how these different customers have leveraged Salesforce financial services to accomplish their goals, for example. And then beyond that, pricing information, and this changes all the time, but this is per user per month, billed annually. And then also of interest, maybe the different resources that are available. There's a lot of different topics, articles, blogs, guides, reports, research videos, webinars, and white papers. So if you want to find different guides related to financial services, here's several different guides and estimate of how long these would take to read, a playbook, a guide, and more guides here, customer stories. And then also what I find helpful would be answers to frequently asked questions such as how is financial services cloud different from sales cloud. So basically the answer to this is that there's custom fields and object modeling for financial accounts, assets, liabilities, and goals for both individual clients and across entire households. And so what this means is that advisors no longer have to spend time and money customizing their CRM to speak the language of their firm. And so this is another layer of specifications added on top of Salesforce and Sales Cloud to make it more specific to financial services. And so there's custom fields and objects that have been added that are more commonly found in the financial services space. And you can also view a complete list of features here and you can download a data sheet as well. So be sure and check out the facts for the financial services cloud as well. And then one other thing to note, if you're wanting to get hands-on experience implementing financial service cloud, you can always search for their implementation guide for whatever cloud, whatever industry cloud you're interested in. And that's a matter of just finding that. I'll pull up the implementation guide for the financial services cloud and I'll link to that down below. And so here I've got a landing page for success with financial services cloud. I did a search for the implementation guide and here's links for getting started such as setting up financial services cloud and other links more geared towards things such as the data model for the financial services cloud and an object reference guide as well. So as I mentioned with the financial services cloud it will make changes to your data model. So if you were to reference the object reference guide it'll show you some of those custom fields and objects that are added in. And of course you've got to enter your email address to access this resource. So let me do that. Let me Go ahead and submit and so here we have another resource that has opened up the financial services cloud developer guide 
And it's here that you'll find the cloud standard and custom objects and more details around custom fields on account and other objects as well. All the different objects found in the financial services cloud and their accompanying custom fields as well. A few other things of note from these various implementation guides and developer guides, you'll see different versioning. So if you need to go back to a previous version for a different release of Salesforce, you can do so by clicking this link. As well, you can open up a PDF version of this guy by clicking the PDF link and you'll see what release this is for on the first page of the guide that you're interested in. You'll notice that this is 550 pages, so very long and involved, but a lot of these notes are around the new objects and fields related to the financial services cloud. So there's a lot of great resources available out there in the Salesforce ecosystem for whatever cloud you're interested in. And as a reminder, you can find that under products and then see all industries. We did this for financial services, but it's much the same for other verticals and industries such as healthcare, communications, etc. So if you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn about Salesforce, and it just might be my next video. And until then, I'll see you in the cloud.